Hey everyone, it's Anton from Mixbox. So I recently got the Ulterior AudioFuse 8 Pre. Whoa, 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 none of that gratuitous video stuff on this channel. What I'm going to cover in this video is I'm going to look at how the Ulterior AudioFuse 8 Pre works within my studio. I specifically got it because I was interested in the ADAP functionality to go into my existing audio interface, which is an Avid Omni I.O. So I'm going to look at using it with that audio interface connected via ADAP into the Ulterior AudioFuse 8 Pre and using it within a Pro Tools session. So the first thing you need to do is go on to the Ulterio website and download the appropriate software. So we go from the home page here, click on products, and then from product we choose the Audio Fuse 8 Pre. So to the right here you'll see the start button. If we click on that, it then gives us all the instructions that we need to get started. If you haven't got an account already, you create an account, register the product, uh, we download and install the software. You can see we've got the Ulterior software here to download. If I just click on this and show you, it will download it. So you start with this Ulterior Software Center. So I've already got that set up on my computer, so I will go to that now and show you what that looks like. But it's within that software that it then provides you with the download that you need for your product. So if you've already got this Ulterior Software Center, then all you need to do is actually just launch that software on your computer and then you can go and set up the product. So I'll show you that in a second. This is the Ulterior Software Center, which I downloaded and I've installed in my computer. I'm using an, an Apple Mac, and so you may need some additional drivers for uh, Windows machines, uh, which I won't be covering in this video. But from an Apple Mac perspective, I now run this software, and you could actually register your new product if you click this button, then it takes you to the web page on the Ulterior site so that you can register your new product and then you register under your username, so then it will appear under My Products, and then you will have this AudioFuse Control Center software available to you that you can install from this software and get your product up and running. So I've already got the AudioFuse Control Center on my computer, so I'm now going to go to that, but firstly I'm going to plug in the AudioFuse product into my computer and then launch the application. So now we've installed the Ulterior software, we go to our Applications folder on an Apple computer and double click on the Ulteria. We've got all of the different Ulteria products that we have and what I'm looking for is the AudioFuse Control Center which is here. So if I now double click on that, it will launch the AudioFuse Control Center now what I'm going to do is just set this up as ADAT because that's predominantly how I use the product as an additional ADAT device. Firstly, I go into the Preferences and select ADAT. Now you see it actually loses connection to the device for a second and then the device will restart. Uh, and when it does, it will show us the ADAT configuration. So here you go, it has restarted. And now you'll see I can't choose anything on the output here is everything is automatically routed from audio inputs, the analog inputs that I've got on the front and back of the device are routing directly through to the outputs on ADAT into my computer. So as I'm using the Ulterior AudioFuse device as an additional ADAT expansion to my existing audio interface, I now need to set that up and I use Pro Tools and I have an Omni interface that I've got connected via an ADAT uh, fiber optic cable from the back of the Omni connected into the back of the AudioFuse device. So within Pro Tools I need to go to the hardware configuration and here you'll see the screen in Pro Tools for the hardware for the HD Omni and I'm in that setting not my additional card, but in the Omni card, and in the main output area. So for input now, I need to change that from the analog inputs on the Omni to the ADAT interfaces being connected in from the Ulterior. 
So I do that by going down and selecting ADAT 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now these are configured so that I can choose these as interfaces as I use the Pro Tools software. So now I'm going to record a drum machine into Pro Tools using the Arterior interface that's connected via ADAT into the Omni. So I've got this set up here as interface 3 and 4. So if I now go into this Pro Tools session here and I'm going to record this drum machine in, I do the selection here of interface literally 3 and 4. It's connected in. Let me press play on the drum machine, see if that plays. And I can hear that. So now I'll go to the bit in the session here and see if I can record that into this particular track. So that's recorded in. So here I've got an example to share with you. So I'm in Pro Tools and I've got a track which I've run through both the Avid I.O. and the Ulterior Audio Fuse. So firstly, I took the track and ran it out of Pro Tools into the Avid I.O. Digital, uh, out of the Avid I.O. Analog, into an Analog Compressor, out of the Analog Compressor, back into the Avid I.O back into digital and recorded it in Pro Tools. And it did exactly the same for the Ulterior. So I've got those two files here. So this is the Avid file and this is the Ulterior file. And what I'm gonna do is play them both for you. So I'll play that once more. Hopefully I've managed to balance the volume close enough between the two of them to give you a fair comparison. I will include the audio files as a link below that you can download and listen to separately to see what you think in terms of the difference between the two audio files. I'd love to hear that. Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do click the like button and subscribe. It does help in terms of building the channel and being able to share more videos with you. Until the next time. Bye.